What's up, everybody? That's right here with more Tales of Arise. Last time we, um, what did, what was last time? Uh, oh yeah, we fucked up Volrock, and we. Basically, got attacked by the chicken red that we call the red lady. And she saw the rem. Uh, oh my god, what's it called? Remnalma? Remnisomna? Yeah. So we got all the cores and she stole them. So yeah, that was good. And then, ways a month passed and we're still here in uh, Ganatharos. Yep. And we're doing some side quests. We are almost done with the side quests. The main story wants us to try to get back to the other realms. Um, I think we're going to connect to Sislodia from here. So we're going to head to Four Land Mountains. But before we do that, we got these two quests that we got to finish. So one of them is she's missing her boyfriend, so we got to go find him. The other one, we got to go fuck up some bird. So let's go fuck up that bird. Okay, off we go. Where is this bird? Way the hell over there. Ooh. I'd steer clear of that if I were Shiny you. ass bird. Damn. That weak, huh? Alright, well, the other ones have been stronger than us too by like, what, nine levels higher? Or something like that. Let's see how high this dude is. 42 is actually weaker than the other ones. And the other ones are like 44 and 43? Is he 45? His cores on his left or right. Wow, oh, shit, that shit quick. I gotta get rid of these fucking smaller ones. Are you fucking serious, dude? As soon as they get raised, I fucking get hit. Here's 
Oh my god, dude. Holy shit, that attack was strong. Too bad. I know fine weapon material when I see it. Oh yeah, and I forgot Lenigus. Basically striked after a month away. And they put a wedge in between Lenigus and Donna. You can see up there. It's all glowy. It's a beam of light. Right, let's just before we turn that one in, uh let, wait, what the hell is this? Oh wait, I think this is where that we're looking for that guy. Oh no, that's where we want to go, never mind. Duh. We've reached our destination. Hello. We meet again, Gane. I am Sears still well. You people again, don't worry. I haven't gone hungry since then. I've been thinking, though. But what it takes to believe and trust in people? I see. That's the rather profound question to contemplate. Forgive us for interrupting you in the middle of all that. However, we're looking for something. We seek any records or paperwork on that Renan forces that may have once went to end. Can you think where they may have kept such things? Hmm. Records like these. Oh. Yes, exactly like those. Thank you. You've saved us a considerable amount of time and effort. It's fine. I trust you won't do anything bad with it. Let's see. No Tio. No Tio. Ah, here we are. What? Mission determining Lord Voleron's whereabouts. Last transmission received from Menacea. Uh. It appears communication was cut off and he's been deemed missing for some time. This hardly bodes well. Mm. It's obviously an easy enough region for us to look for him, but whether we'll find him is another matter. Oh? Wait, judging by this location, could that soldier we met by the pond have been here? I see. You might well be onto something, Shion. May I ask you to guide us yeah. there? Sure, but she'll me one later. That's weird how how these um well, quests in this area connect to each other. Don't they know where their own sovereign is? Um, he was. It's the same guy I'm thinking of. They said about Considering the we've come across the world over. 
He's likely been operating on his own for a while now. Maybe even his own subordinates were just toys to him. Hmm. Interesting. Judging by the stench, I'd say the animals at the ranch are all grown now. Are they? Whoops, shit. I was the other ones aren't even fucking ready yet. Um, let's go and do pig and cow. Taka Pond. Where the fuck is Taka Pond? Something in the water. Yeah, fish. <laughs> All right, hold on. So he wasn't here. Is it? Or is this waterfall basin? Um, I guess I could try there. Like we made it here in one piece. All right, so I want to go left. Um, Okay, no. It has to be this little spot. That was quite the little adventure we went on. Or not. 
Okay. So I can't do this quest yet. In the other round. Okay, well, that makes sense then. Alright, so wait on that one. Cool. Let's go turn in this one quest then. If nothing else drops, then we'll head to. Let's Always go. Now, Forland. Forland Mountains. There you go. We'll be back in familiar territory. Those twisters finally gone now. Yeah. Yep, they're all gone now. Those tornadoes are no match for me. How? Well, I'll be. Just what sort of magic did you use on those things? Huh? Uh, actually, it was the team effort with she on here, right? Uh, yeah. I know how to fire a gun, so. So, what were you doing while she fired, young lady? Well, well I was cheering her on, giving her orders, and uh, giving her food. Hey. I'm not a dog, Renwell. The point is, there are no more Zulus for you to worry about. Anyway, see you later. <laughs> You're leaving already. You're a little twist yourself, young lady. Full of energy and gone in a flash. Hey! Burning strike. Um. You know what? Why not? Shit, I got a lot. Let's do... Vacuum blades. I think I'll do that. That shit already takes off most of my fucking health anyways. So what's a little more? So did she learn an art, or is that a weapon she got? No, because her weapon's a book. Alright, so she learned an art. How about that? What's it called? Um, was it Burning Strike? I think that was it. Beginner Fire Art? Terrible. All right. Why is this question mark? I've been in here before. Yeah, there ain't shit here. All right. To the marshlands. Attack up going. <laughs> Kisara, let's talk for a bit. I'll take watch tonight. It's okay.
Rise and shine. We're almost ready to leave. We've already left. Soldiers. Some of Volron's former guards. Let's take them out quick before things get messy. I mean, we could just try talking to them. Oh, glory unto Volron! Lay down your arms and no one has to get hurt. Silence! Greater like you shall never walk free. I knew you were stubborn, but you don't have to be so damn dramatic. Ignore! Stand around! Shut him down. You're mine. I'm ready. Light burst four. Radiant Genesis. You don't mess around. Coming through. Scarlet Inferno! What's with the hole here? Is that supposed to be their hideout? It doesn't look like it's freshly dug, whatever it is. Maybe it's the entrance to a path to Cislodia. <sighs> Everything all right? Hmm? Oh, yeah, I'm fine. Let's go. I don't know when it happened, but we sure are hauling a lot of stuff these days. I was just thinking the exact same thing. Glad to hear I'm not the only one. We should probably clear some stuff out, like our old weapons we're not using anymore. They must be in pretty bad shape by now. No way. Those are still good as new with a little polishing. If anything, I'd say all our armor is what's weighing us down. But that armor is also still good once you fix it up. Besides, Better to have too much armor than too little. You can trust me on that one. Well, what about all these dumb old antiques we're lugging around? If we sell those off, that should lighten our load. Simpletons such as yourself, who can't appreciate the true worth of such things, is how precious art vanishes from history. Pretty art's not gonna save you in a fight, man. Stop it, you guys. This is no time to... All I really meant to say is, you can tell how much we've been through by everything we're carrying around. Honestly. That's all. Oh. My deepest apologies. It appears that I may have rather overreacted. Yeah, I guess it's only natural we'd have so many souvenirs by now. I might have been out of line, too. I guess all this stuff really is a sign of how far we've come together. Yeah, every little piece is its own treasure filled with memories. There's more where that came from.
All right. Tell me, Alfin, wherever did you learn how to wield a sword? I was wondering the same thing too, actually. I'm guessing you knew how to fight before you met the Crimson Crows, right? I used to be a soldier who served a Danon master. I never saw the guy's face, but I still fought for him because he was my employer. Looking back, it wasn't all that different from being a slave. A Danon master? That must have been before the Renans brought you to Lenigus 300 years ago. You must fight using real Danon techniques then. Really? We used to have our own sword arts? There's a lot of our own history we've lost since the Renans first invaded. It's not all magic and art. I'm sure it includes things like sword styles, too. It's incredible, and also a little surreal to see those arts still survive after all this time. Not only that, but I first learned these moves while serving one ruler. Only to end up turning my sword on the ruling class altogether. Pretty ironic when you think about it. I apologize if I dredged up unfortunate memories for you. Nah, we're good. It's in the past now. All we ever did in those days was stir up trouble. You're using those skills for a good cause now. It's not all bad. I suppose this is what people mean when they say that every cloud has its silver lining. Exactly. He's using those sword skills to make the world better. Could be a lot worse. True enough. I will stop worrying about mentioning it then. Something feels odd here. Be on your guard. No wonder we couldn't manage to find them. They've been holed up here all this time, hiding. The remnants of Volron's forces. You think they were planning an ambush on Pelegian? Possibly. Then again, knowing how blind their devotion is, maybe they were just waiting. Waiting? For Volron, you mean? Even though we already defeated him? But... Yes, I suppose you're right. For these guys, that would just be a technicality. They act more like worshippers than subjects. They're probably still in denial that he was overthrown in the first place. Either that, or they were biding their time until the next crown contest. Either way, their allegiance is to their lord. Who they're convinced and expectant will return. So in the meantime, they wait patiently in preparation for the day that he finally does. That's way more than just loyalty. It's no less than total subjugation. In my technique we're stronger together than we you've noticed it haven't you notice what i'm referring to shion i never thought you of all people would come to me about her yes well what concerns me has more to do with what machinations may be currently unfolding in secret on lenigus as we make our way along this tunnel and you're saying it's related to shion in some way perhaps she believed there was a good possibility that the Renis Alma may free her from her thorns. One would think after losing the Renis Alma, she would be more dismayed. And yet she isn't. Why? There's also the matter of the power that she inherited from. You heard what she said. She didn't know about the Maiden's power. Mere ignorance does Did not she, preclude though? her deep connection to the events unfolding around us. You recall when her thorns went rampant in Castle Del Faris. I've never seen dark astral energy manifest in such a way. I thought you said all Renans had dark astral energy inside of them. Correct. However, what Xion exhibited was far beyond what any ordinary citizen could ever possibly possess. <laughs> Let me be clear. I do not intend to cast doubt on Xion. I was trying to say that like, Xion's the, uh... 
Nevertheless, Dark Lord I cannot shake the feeling that there's more to all of this than what we currently know. Do you disagree? <sighs> Interesting. Well, I do want to check one thing. Did she actually get that outfit, that black one? Ooh, she does. Demon dude, skill. Coming through. I shall ensure you survive this. On your knees. We work well together. What level are these guys? Because I'm wrecking them. Looks like it could be worth something. It's obvious that people used to go through here in order to get to the other realms. You think Volron really did seal it off to keep it hidden then? Seems like it. Those soldiers we encountered might have known about it. They've chosen to... Let's dispose of the trash. Oh yeah, I am overleveled. Not Very sure. Well. This makes the fights go faster. <laughs> Am I on a roll or what? Little help! Here, let me help. Here I come! Okay, I'll take you all off! I'll take the field! Here's the evil! Don't take this! Don't even fight! The wind won't save you from me! Don't take this! 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 You're finished! Now! Heal the circle! This ends now! Consider yourself finished! That's some power you wield. You're the one who did the heavy lifting. I see supplies and other signs people were living here. Even Zubal cages. Definitely looks like hey, this is where the remnants of Volon's yummy. forces hold themselves up. Yeah. Well we were hiding in a place drink. like this all along. materials in your garments. You really do have quite the discerning eye, Dohalim. Okay, right, so equipment for you. Yeah, they all kind of look the same to me. Corners. Let's see what you've got. In a bind? Damn it! Not in your dreams! I can feel you where you stand. Double Do it! I 
Bienfu, how about that? I wonder if it looks just like it. Where would it be, though? Whoops. Oh, I can't tell. For who? Oh no, it's not. Accessory. Boost all stats. The design of this equipment is really interesting. I do need to give him a better one too. Stat boost on enemy defeat. Oh, temporarily pass. You must really like it, Alfin. How much do they have to steal from us to be satisfied? What's that thing's purpose, anyway? Some kind of siphon that sends the astral energy the Lord's harvested to Lenigus? Not as far as I'm aware. That said, it has become evident since the forming of the Renis Alma, as well as other recent events, that my insight may be... thin. I would, as I believe the saying goes, take what I say with a grain of salt. Nothing but a pawn. Don't, Halim. At the very least, I believe we can assume that whoever is pulling the strings behind the scenes has had this in the works for quite some time. Why is that? The people on Lenigus may have plenty of resources at their disposal, but not even they could prepare something like that in a mere month. Something of that magnitude takes considerable time, as well as a predetermined goal in mind. Then what was the crown contest for? At this stage, I think it was but one step in the greater scheme we see unfolding before us. What that scheme is exactly, I haven't a clue. For now, I believe we should keep moving. The path continues. It's quite possible it will take us all the way to Cislodia. Agreed. Let's keep moving. So Xion's thorns are dark astral energy. Rinwell, are you worried about Xion? Of course I am. But I don't know how to talk to her about it. You and me both. Come to think of it. What happened to those four lights that fell from Lenigus along with the Wedge? 
All four of them scattered in different directions. It's anyone's guess where on Dana they might have landed. I'm not entirely sure, but it seemed like those lights may have all been different elements of astral energy. So even though they're using the wedge to siphon off energy from Dana, they're shooting it back down to Dana as well? Why? I don't know. It all happened so suddenly. Hopefully it's not a sign of some new threat we'll have to deal with. But if that red woman has anything to do with the wedge, then what could that light... It's weird, isn't it? Oh? The red woman. Shion and Dohalim said they'd never seen her before Pelagian. Maybe Renin's can't. Are you saying they're lying to us? No, it's not that I think they're lying, just... There has to be some reason for it, right? Well, one thing the two of them have in common is that they're both Renins. Okay, you two. Put a pin in it for now. I know that we're in the dark about a lot, but for now, let's focus on getting through these mountains. Yeah, of course. Alright, so that's the way we came. So up this way. Valley. Making all the racket. Retreat if you know what's good for you. Take this. Wow, this dude's by himself. Weak. Break a sweat. This will be a delicious piece of cake. One more. Air strikes. Air strikes. The wailing Yankee of lightning. Magnarek. Divide. Here I come. It's over. Nasty airborne scoundrel. Sounds like a job for yours truly. Maybe my arm is too heavy for you. Luka, go for it. Prepare to crumble. The heavens must be smiling. Right, here goes! Bathe Ignite! Rending you apart! Run it through! Bloody hell! On your way! The trail's out of station! Turn up, go! Illuminate the trail! Don't even bang! In a bind? Go! You're mine! Holy land! You're finished! Rain between heaven and earth! Move the horizon! Find the crush! Now! Chill! This ends now! Consider yourself finished. A scream. No. Here I come. Rending you apart. Now, Dolly. This one's got your name on it. Ask to action. Dust to dust. That was way stronger than regular firepower. Gotta break through. Take this. Eliminate the damage. Rending you apart. You're mine. Great. On your way. Not on my watch. Here I come. You're finished. You're mine! It's so fine, freak! What gives it now? They're all coming in! This ends now! Consider yourself finished! My turn! Stand to the way and never finish! Me. Yours to be let Air free! You're finished! Oh, I'm, 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 I'm ready! I'm ready! Astral energy! Say no more! Do -do -do. Lady Fortune must truly be watching over me. Anything is, I actually got a little bit chilly right now, too. Because I can't afford Not against the worthy of Now, you fight at 
And my technique. We're stronger together than we are apart. Hey, three life bottles. All right. <clears throat> Coming through. Break a sweat. Onward and upward. Sapphire Guard, that should be for her. <laughs> yep. Alright, now we're all right, next area. back. Oh, this is where the drawbridge was. Okay, I know where we are. We made it to Cislodia. We need to get that bridge down somehow. It looks like we can control it from our side. Let's take a closer look. <sighs> Are you okay, Law? Hmm? Oh, fine. Just thinking. The past is a real downer. And that's why I'm focused on what's ahead of me. You? Yeah. I'm going to stay the path. As long as we're all together, I know we'll be all right. Same here. Now let's get moving. Weird is, I think I still have owls to collect in um, the little water realm area. Do I? Um, what is it under play records? Wow, 
dude. There's a shit ton of skits still. Okay, halfway through subquests. Halfway through items. Halfway through most of basically everything. Okay. No um. Where the hell is it? Ooh, oh, yeah, six owls. Okay. Good. We can cross through here. Stop! Who goes there? My name is Alfin. We're not your enemies. Did you say Alfin? Slap me silly. It really is Slap you. me silly. Forgetting someone? Brinwell! Oh, glad to see you're doing okay. What are you guys doing out here? We're patrolling the realm. Never thought I'd bump into you all on my rounds, though. Heck, enough of me, though. What's going on up in the sky? Feels like the world's gonna end. That's what we're trying to figure out ourselves. And as it happens, I've got a big favor to ask. I had an inkling that's why you'd come back, as soon as I saw you in the distance. So you beat all the lords, huh? Damn, you really must be a hero. That's right. I just did what I had to. So can you send anybody to help Ganeth Haros? I think we can help out. I'll hit up the other resistance groups and rustle up some support. I doubt they'll have a problem sending people once I mention it's you who's asking. Thanks. If you guys can help out, that'll give us a chance to do something about that wedge out in the ocean. Yeah, I think that's something only you guys can handle. Speaking of which, that thing's out in the middle of the ocean. How do you even plan on reaching it? By boat. We're about to go look for one. No rest for the weary, I see. Hey, what happened to that mask you used to wear? It's a long story. Let's just say I lost it. I sure never expected to run into Bregan. Cislodia's probably in good hands with him. Yeah, now we can focus on finding a ship. Let's see too that people get sent to Ganatharos to look after the place. Don't worry, you guys can stay safe out there, okay? But first, slap me silly. Hey. A boat, huh? Where are we going to find one of those? It's not the kind of thing people just leave lying around. Especially not Renans. For an Imperial power, they never have shown much interest in maritime expansion. Still, I dare say there should be the odd small vessel here and there. All well and good, but that structure is slap bang in the middle of the ocean. A fishing boat won't cut it. Let's just try to find one that won't sink us halfway out, yeah? Not that it needs to be a huge galley like Almadria's or anything. Just as well since we've passed, let's see, literally zero huge galleys. All I know is we have to reach that thing in the ocean. Anything that might work, I say we try it. Thanks to Bregan, it seems like Ganeth Harrows should be in good hands at least. I wonder who they'll send to look after things. It'll be someone from one of the other resistance organizations, no doubt. They could do a whole lot worse than someone like Doc. A knowledge of medicine would go a long way there. Wait, do you mean the old guy back in Calaglia? Ganeth Haros would be one hell of a trek from there. He'd have to get here first. My brother's old second in command, Lagiel, would be a perfect fit, too. Pity she'll probably still have her hands tied up with work in Menencia. Mahagsar will be the same story. They won't have the manpower as it is. 
let alone enough to start exporting it. Man, everyone's still struggling to get back on their feet, huh? Knowing Bregan, he'll probably take things into his own hands. He seems like the kind of guy who enjoys a challenge. Thinking back on it now, though, it does kind of make you realize just how many people we've gotten to know in each of the places we visited. That's true. And each and every connection we forged is priceless. Anyway, we can trust Bregan to take care of things from here. Come on, let's focus on the task at hand. It's... freezing. It's always like this in Cislodia. Menencia was most fortunate, I see. Oh, and now I can actually warp everywhere. All right, well, first... Let's go to the Owl Forest. Do you sense one of your friends, Hoodle? I'm sorry, is there an owl here? Is full. The hell, are the other six owls then. Who's this friend? Who the fuck am I supposed to talk to? Well, most of the perches are filled up now. Frankly, I'm amazed there's so many of these guys. What cautious lives they must have lived. They deserve credit for their vitality. They're all so lovely individually, but I think they look downright awe-inspiring when so many of them are gathered together in one place. I don't know. It's hard to relax with all of them eyeballing us at once. Yeah, I guess owls do seem to stare. <laughs> uh, you've done well. He's at it again. Come on, you know you like it. Frankly, I never thought you'd gather so many of us. You are so quick to rescue those in need. You have given us a big, happy family. We're on the brink of extinction. We must work together if we are to change our fate. You carry a heavy burden. Don't you worry. We can change fate. You won't be alone. I promise. This isn't just your fight. I'm here for you too. I want us both to be together. That was you interpreting for the owls, right? Yeah, of course. It's nice to see everyone getting along. But perhaps we should be moving on. Just who was that conversation between? Try not to think about it too much. Besides, there's still a few empty perches left. We've come this far. Why stop now, right? Hey, Hoodle. Once we've managed to gather all the owls, after that... Huh? He ain't gonna leave ya. Let me check. Huh. Alright then, well let's see what he gave us. Oh sorry, wrong spot. Outfits. You got different color tiaras. Violet, huh?
Hey, he's got like fucking Jafar staff. Shows off the booty more. I'm not gonna lie though, the black, pretty sick. Okay, now. Did I just heal by accident? That's. Did I? No, I didn't. Okay, cool. A lot of quests to do. So before we continue the story, let's do some of those. So let's start from the beginning. Let's see if this asshole has finally switched his goddamn outfit.